yeah, they're tough conversations, obviously. I mean, I can't imagine what people in Ukraine have gone through and, you know, the heroic fighting that, you know, I would hope that we would have the courage to do if we were ever faced with, you know, an aggressor like that here in the United States, that we would throw ourselves at the front line and do what they have done. But, you know, brass tacks, uh, when you are dealing with an entrenched enemy who has a modern military machine behind them, and they're dug in, and you are maybe maybe that's actually not even true. Because at the beginning, I think the United States must have thought that they were going to just lose. Because if we thought they were going to win, we would have thrown all of the advanced weapons that were slowly trickling into the conflict, we would have given it to him right away to, you know, best the opponent. But it does look like we have led, you know, to this, you know, kind of just general bleeding out. And it doesn't look good. Yeah, there's almost nothing in history that the the current guy who shall remain nameless is going to look good in. He's sort of like George W. Bush. They just every chance he got, he he loses. All of his decisions end up being not great ones, with the exception of putting the aircraft carriers near Israel. That's that was a fine move by him, very smart. But yeah, I it's it's a complete waste of a whole generation of Ukrainians for for sake of this. And they might have been able to have a much better chance if 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 we had forced there to be some uh, strings attached and some transparency as how the money was being <clears throat> stolen, uh, used in the war. So, you know, that might have been nice. But, you know, why why messy it up with, you know, transparency and legitimacy? Why? Well, and I'm not even worried about the money because – 